what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video going to be part two of the clan war league attacks in zika down and champions league two using that two overgrowth root rider valkyrie smash attack that my clan has been using where we are just absolutely destroying bases and you can see by the stars with our clan we got a lot of triples in clan war league so we're going to be covering attacks from wars four five and six today as always the link to the army will be in the description below let's get right into the action all right on this first attack we got nizzy coming in with this on a diamond style base and you're gonna see the town hall compartment over here on the right side with that clan, clan castle uh, building as well so we're gonna have to deal with those troops we're gonna start with the king and siege barracks right in the same location get this attack going and we got a couple funneling troops coming out as well and then the main army gonna get started down here at 4 30 and pushing into this base and we got the clan castle troops come out king and a couple of troops are gonna have to deal with that and we got the first overgrowth coming down that way we can get this funnel through that town hall compartment and we should have the eternal tome healing tome coming as he uses that ability to keep those troops safe and healing heal them up through that town hall poison as well you're gonna see a rage spell come down here as we push through another free spell as well and then that second overgrowth should be coming down shortly if he decides to use it he might not be able to have to use it at all to be honest but you can see that rage spell tower got popped down here at the bottom side of the base and this entire army is pushing through it's a beautiful funnel and that first overgrowth was used perfectly we're going to use that as we get closer to these defenses and then we can finish off the base and then we're going to pretty much just chill for a second before we ta uh, take down the rest of the base that's trapped by that overgrowth spell and we still got the king queen and royal champion ability so this is going to be fairly easy to finish off even though we got some heavy hitting defenses in here it always concerns me uh, when we have a very compact compartment but as you can see royal champion ability is going to go off and then we actually don't even pop we do pop the king and queen at the very last second where we pick up that triple great plan and execution by nizzy all right, on this second attack, we got Joker coming in on this box out base with a Northern Town Hall compartment. Right away, we got the Siege Barracks and the Archer Queen coming in on the left side of the base. And we're going to have the Barbarian King coming in at the northern part of the base to create this nice funnel for our Root Riders and Valkyries to push into that Town Hall compartment. So as this funnel gets going, we do have two poison spell towers on this base and two multi-target infernos with one single so we got that main army coming down as well and we're going to push into this town hall compartment you're going to see a rage spell come down that way we can push through the town hall get these troops out of that poison as fast as possible eternal tome and healing tome coming through on the grand warden and we got the normal stuff on these heroes that we've been seeing with these attacks royal gem haste vile on the rc so we got the overgrowth coming down on the middle part of the base with that monolith and that's going to allow these troops to push through um this outer part of the base on the left side where we had ricochet cannons and some other heavy hitting defenses as well barbarian king by himself up here taking out a lot of these defenses that's just a multi-target inferno luckily and we got the baby dragon so we do have a baby dragon and a super wall breaker in this style so like i said a little bit of flexibility with this attack you can take out a root rider or take out a couple of valkyries to put in some other troops that you prefer to to have and that you like you know it's not like a hard set like you know certain amount of root riders and valkyries that you have to use i mean it's really just preference it's all player preference like we covered in the last video use the things that you're comfortable with use the equipments that you like use a spell or two different that you like it doesn't have to be exactly like this this is just what the style that i show is the style that i prefer and what i like but all of my clan members use um some different styles especially in war because you could plan for the base and 
and know where you're going to need cleanup and know what spells might work better. Um, so we saw, you know, somebody use five free spells instead of three rage spells. And they use a heal spell instead of three rage spells. So there's definitely flexibility um, and you're still able to pick up triples. All right, on this fifth war we got a key coming in on this teaser diamond style base i wanted to show this one so right away we got the siege barracks on the left side of the base we got the barbarian king on the complete opposite right side of the base and we're going to do a super wide funnel pushing up to the northern part of the base and you're going to see that's probably where the main army is going to come in so we got the root riders coming down with the grand warden and all the valkyries and the archer queen as well we did open up one wall over here for the barbarian king to push in to this part of the base and take out some of these defenses as well and you're going to see the overgrowth come down on the left side of the base that way this main army pushes directly down into all of this havoc down here with the ricochet cannon scatter shots monolith and everything else down here as well you're going to see the skeleton spell come down distract some of these defenses for a brief second and we're going to have a freeze coming on. Uh, Aki actually uses that second overgrowth early to overgrowth that other side of the base as well on the exact same side. That way we can push through that Tomahawk apartment and deal with some of these other defenses early um, so that we don't have to take so much damage from like a double ricochet cannon, double scatter shot, and everything like that. So very smart move there doesn't necessarily have to use that overgrowth in the exact same spot both times um, i have had some on some triples in legends league where i end up using it in a different area just because of where my troops were and i thought it'd be easier to pick up that compartment right then and there so it's definitely you know you don't have to put it in the exact same spot twice there's obviously flexibility with it you know if you see an opportunity like a key did here where there was um an opportunity to create an entire funnel on one side of the base obviously take that if if you have an opportunity where the overgrowth was on one side and your army's on the other and or vice versa the army is underneath the overgrowth which is what i've had and i use the overgrowth in a different spot and that way when that those buildings are untrapped my army could take down those buildings real quick before pushing on to the rest of the base all right on this second attack in war five we got Hippus, our clan leader, coming in on this diamond style base as well. I know a lot of people have been saying they've been struggling with these diamond style bases. That's why I want to show some more of these because you see a lot of these in Clan War League and Wars and even in Legends League as well. So if you get better at hitting these bases, it's only going to help you in the long run. So we got a quick funnel on the right side here with the King, Queen, and Siege Barracks all in one location. King ability is going to pop early. And then we got the Grand Warden with the Root Riders and Valkyries coming down towards that Tomahawk apartment. Going to see that Rage come down and then a quick Warden ability right after that Tomahawk goes down. Protecting those troops as long as we possibly can. And then we're going to use that Overgrowth directly in the middle to get that King, Queen, and the rest of those Siege Barracks troops to push down south. And then that's going to allow the Root Riders and Warden and everything else to push around the base. We got the RC with that main army as well. And they're going to push down towards that southern part of the base. Uh, Hippus actually uses that second overgrowth spell off of the Eagle Artillery. That way he could take down that Eagle Artillery very quickly and not have to worry about that uh, high defense building while he's pushing into that monolith at the very end of the attack. That was actually very smart because then his troops don't get distracted on that Eagle Artillery and we don't have to worry about taking damage from that monolith as we're trying to destroy that high defense building. Um, and obviously, um, it's one less thing to destroy because of that invisibility uh, spell tower as well. So we're going to drop that freeze on the invisibility spell tower. Got the seeking shield on the RC. Going to come through and do some damage. Everything else on the heroes was normal. And then we're going to finish off the triple on the gold storage. So very quick very fast and dominant attack by hippus all right in this six war on attack one we got manoi coming in with this attack on this box style base and we got the town hall on this left side we got double poison spell tower to deal with as well we're gonna do a super wide funnel got the barbarian king valkyrie and a root rider up on the left side of the base got the siege barracks down here with a couple valkyries on the bottom side of the base as well that poison 
spell tower is going to get popped that's when we're going to cue the main army to come in um that was actually very smart to wait for that that way that uh poison spell tower is, was not directly over the town hall poison as well we are going to miss a couple uh troops through that ward ability but that's going to be okay and we're going to take down the, the first of the couple ice golems and have to deal with that you see that overgrowth spell coming down on the top side of the base on that ricochet eagle uh warden and eagle artillery uh with the scatter as well and then that rc came through after that town hall was taken down i i usually like to use the rc with the main army but i think i'm gonna start saving the rc just for a brief second making sure we get that town hall down and then sending the rc where i think the most value is going to come out of um using her and i think that hopefully that's going to help me um continue to get more triples and maybe even get some more triples obviously um we did have a plus 303 day in legends league we're going to be sharing as well had six triples and two very high percentage two stars so we we are still obviously doing very well with this attack but not getting as many triples as i would like to be uh getting so uh, maybe a couple little adjustments here and there will help us pick up some more triples uh but we had the rc and queen ability going into this last part of the attack with plenty of root riders left and a couple valkyries so we're going to be able to pick up these final couple buildings and we actually got the archer puppet with the queen so archer puppet with the queen no frozen arrow there and i believe we had the healing tome obviously with the grand warden and the eternal tome um with that grand warden as well all right on this last attack we got nick coming in with this on a diamond style centralized town hall base we're going to start with that siege barracks down at six o'clock push up through that part of the base and the barbarian king with a root rider and a couple valkyries over on the right side of the base and then you're going to see the main army come right through so we had a nice wide strong funnel and then we're going to get that main army going I actually got the poison spell tower to pop before the main army got in the middle of the base too which is awesome anytime you can get that to uh pop and we don't have to worry about that multiple poison uh, spell towers and the town hall poison being on the main army that's going to be incredible we're going to have that overgrowth come down on that monolith eagle ricochet cannon all of that area of the base and that warden ability also gets popped we're going to see a freeze come down on the town hall and have a rage spell on these troops as well while they're attacking and taking on the town hall uh right in the middle part of the base still got the king queen and rc abilities which is going to be great for that back half of the attack normal on the king archer puppet on the queen uh, we actually got the life gem not the healing tome on the grand warden and we got the basic on the rc as well um nick must not have that healing tome uh leveled up i definitely suggest using the healing tome over the life gem i think it's significantly better um helps keep your troops uh, get your troops healed back up um pretty pretty well at through the town hall and town hall poison um all the explosions and stuff you have to deal with so i like the healing tone personally a lot better um you're gonna see the freeze come down on that monolith and rc ability is gonna go through and then we're gonna have the uh king attacking a wall over here taking a couple by the time the king got through that clan war league is over but you know it happens and we're gonna have archer archer queen pop her ability king pop his ability as we finish off this base um for a triple all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always i appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel um i hope you guys are enjoying the war videos if you guys do like these let me know we'll continue to show uh war videos and i know we are still on our classic war win streak i believe we were at 35 or 36 the last time uh we looked and we will continue to show that because um that's incredible that we actually suffered our first loss of 2024 against one star only um in champions league two but we're feeling good about next month we're going to get that promotion push into champs one um obviously we'll have the link to the army in the description below we'll catch you next time